Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please look in the description beneath this video for useful links to other videos and resources to help you learn chemistry. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to answer the question shown here. I invite you to pause the video right now and try this question on your own first, then hit play and I'll show you how to do it. So as I taught you in an earlier video, linked to in the description below or floating over my head somewhere, there are only four possible values for L, and usually when I'm doing quantum number problems like this, I start with L because it's the simplest. Those four numbers are shown right here. If your L is zero, you're talking about S orbitals. If your L is one, you're talking about P orbitals. If it's two, you're talking about Ds. And if it's three, you're talking about Fs. That is it. So in this case, I've got a 2P orbital. So what's my L value? Yeah, it's gonna be L equals one. Over here, I've got a 5D, so what is my L value? Yeah, it's L equals two. And that's it, no more, no less. Now what about the n number? That's the principal quantum number. Where do I get that? Yeah, when we're listing out orbitals right here, that first number is the n number right there. So here it's two, and this one here is five. Piece of cake. Now, where do I get the magnetic quantum numbers? Yeah, those are equal to each integer spanning from negative l to positive l, including zero in the middle. So if I've got l equals one, my possible m sub l values are negative one, zero, and positive one. For l equals two, they are negative two, negative one, and so forth right there. You can see those clear, and I don't need to read them. So those are the answers to our questions. Please have an enjoyable rest of your day.